the message of, Christ, uh, of uh, Christmas. It's all encompassed in one thing, love. It's all encompassed in what? Love. It's all encompassed in what? Love. Love as, pre as presented in an unprecedented way. Love of God that is above the love of mother to child. Love of God that is above the love of husband to wife, father to children, or the kind of the, the, the kind of feeling you that we have is expressed in agape, the God kind of love. Are we flowing together? Yes, sir, yes. Now, what does the characteristics of this love and what it does not is what we see ourselves doing during this Christmas. One of the things that love does is that it gives. Love gives. We forget things that are behind. Are you with me? Now I'll still come back to the message of the message of the angels because that is what they were wondering at. Now, first thing in life, the things that are holding men back have become a tradition. It is something that we have been practicing over and over again. Are you with me? We have been practicing those things over and over again. One of them, and the main one, is fear. Are we, are we together? I cannot go into elucidating everything in detail, but one of them is fear. And all the traditional things that we have been practicing that makes the word of God of none effect are the things that are still keeping us in bondage. God has provided a way for salvation. And are we taking it? Are we not taking it? You will notice that the choices that men make is what determines their life. The choices that men make when it comes to God determines their life. You can even be, number one thing is that you can decide to be translated from the kingdom of darkness or not to the kingdom of light, which we will call salvation. Are you with me? Which we will call salvation. Some people have not decided on that today. Because the message is to all, all the people, God is not angry with them. Is God angry with them? No. I just want you to know that the message of Christ is not a doctrine. It's not a religion. It's to all people. And your choice on it determines where you find yourself in life. God has redeemed man from all bondages holding them. All weaknesses, all things that are negative to man has been nailed to the cross. Are you with me? Yes, sir. The message of Christ is to make men like God. Mm. I wish you could write that down. Any revelation that comes to you from the word of God that does not make you like God makes you religious. Any revelation from the word that comes to you from God that comes to you that does not make you an incarnate God living on earth a savior to men. The next thing it will make you is to be religious. You'll be fighting it. You'll be try you're trying to prove it, trying to prove it. You will say one thing and make effort to make it happen, but you will not because you are a man. Are you with me? But Christ came. Christ came to deliver us from that. You notice that one of the things that men do when they miss commun communication or connection with God is what they damn did went to hide under a tree with fig leaves. There are different types of trees and fig leaves today. One of them even is the cross. Many people still hide under the cross as religion. Are you with me? We are not religious. We are one. We are made to be one with God. God is no more far from men. That is the good news. The heralding, the beginning of it is what we have here. So let me go back to this. Love is particular, is the particular message of this generation that we are in. Listen, everybody, nothing happens accidentally on earth. Nobody has a good marriage by accident. Nobody has a good relationship with their parents by accident. Nobody has... Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Nobody has... Okay, what I said before was nothing happened by accident in life. You have to make it happen. Are you with me? Nobody builds a house by accident. Each and every one of us that is here, including the children, knows that this house does not just happen. Somebody built it. Nobody has a good marriage by accident. 
you have to actively participate in building it. We build on love. We build on love. As husband, as wives, we build on love. Practice giving, practice receiving. Are you with me? By practice of uh, forgiveness and pra by practice of uh, forgetting. The same thing with all human relationships. It's not by accident. And we see the example of it in Christ's birth, whereby God gave to them that are not qualified for it. God gave to those people that are not qualified for it. What is the message that heralded the, uh, the path of Jesus? Number one, fear not. Number one, fear not. Say it with me. Number one, fear not. Fear not. Say it again. Fear not. Say it again. Fear, not. fear was never meant to be on earth. The devil brought it. We were supposed to be having peace. We were supposed to be having relationship with God with nothing to be panicky about, nothing to hide. Fear came between man and God and man and man. Between Adam and Eve. Because he started to be suspicious of his wife. It's the woman you gave me. It's the man that you gave me. Because of the entrance of the devil into the world. If you will make anything out of your life, you have to write it down on your heart. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. In even small things. In small things. Fear not. Now, he said, fear not and look at this. Concentrate on this. I bring you good tidings of great joy. The way Christ came, is, when Christ came, the news that Christ brought for us is good news. Hallelujah. Not message of condemnation, Hallelujah. not message of fear, not message that will put you in bondage. Good news of great joy. Good news of great joy. We shall be to how many people? All people. We shall be to how many people? All people? Brethren, we have made religion out of this. We've made a systematic doctrine out of this. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Instead of being spontaneous in that which God has given us. Instead of being spontaneous in following what that same God that came in human blood in human flesh came to also dwell in us to make us become are you with me yes, message of christ brings joy message of christ bring we will see later it brings peace mm. when you are traveling in life in your journey of life from the day of your birth to the day that you will depart monitor those two things because they will signify whether you're on the correct course or not joy and peace Joy and peace. Right from the beginning. Whenever your joy is troubled or compromised, you know something is wrong. When your peace is disturbed, you know something is wrong. They are like gauges. They are like meters on our dashboard when we are driving. You know, you look at the fuel and uh, when you are speedometer, you look at the fuel, you can see. And then you see the temperature. You see the oil, the temperature. You see, some of us are good drivers, yeah. Some of us just take the car and just drive. People like me. <laughs> Glory to God. Check, check always your joy level. Check always your peace level. As a family, check that constantly. You understand? Anything that steals your joy is stealing your goods. Anything that takes away your peace is making you to be a discordant with the way you are created. Husband, wife, I repeat it again. Nothing happens on its own. We make things happen in life. And especially as the leader, you take responsibility. The degree of leadership that you take in life is in proportion to the responsibility that you assume. Are you with me? And that will determine the results that you get in life. I said verse 10 and 14 because of time. That's what I will do. 20 and 2021 20, and beyond. Let us make it as part of our goals, as part of the things that what in our living we make joy, peace, a cost at a constant level and higher. And two. No. 10 and 10 and 14. Okay. I'm still on 10. Leave 14 the way it is. Don't worry. Leave it that way. <laughs> we make joy and peace 
at a such a level that it will be increasing, and not only for yourself and your relationship, for people around you. Listen to me. The example that we found in Jesus, there are things that come to me easily. Number one is that Jesus did not live for himself. In your study of life, wherever you may be, you know, uh, wherever we are in our journey, you will see that no selfish man makes impact on life. No selfish man makes impact on life. I will do what is a name for me. And an average man is selfish. One of the things that Jesus bath teaches us is that don't be selfish. Is it too simple? Is it too simple? No. Husband, wife, father, children, uh, mother, children. You see, naturally mothers have a love for their children. And in that love too, at a particular end of it is a little bit, is a little bit, what do we call it? It's a little bit selfish. Self. You understand? And they call it, you see, the Greek word where the mother's love to the children comes is the word we have in Hebrews chapter, chapter 1, in Hebrews chapter 13 in verse 1, where it says, let brotherly love continue. The word brotherly love there is filio adephia. Adephia brother, filio love. You understand? You know the kind of things that happen between siblings? That is the kind of love. We think it's the highest. It's not. God's kind... God's kind of love, which is uh, agape, is the highest form. You understand? In Isaiah, the Bible says, can a mother forget her suckling child? It's a little bit difficult. Am I right? Can a mother forget her suckling child? Say, even if they forget, I will not forget you. I have engraved you in the palms of my time. Are you with me? Yes, the message of Christ is to epitomize the maximum of love. Mm. The maximum level of love. Christmas is not just giving and we have verities and festive. It's good. But let, we, let us have Christmas every day. 2021 and beyond. Yes, sir. That's my message. Let's have Christmas every day. 2021 and beyond. And you will now find out that Christmas is just the beginning of greater living. Mm. Christmas is just the beginning of greater living. Now, it says, verse 14, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace. Goodwill towards men. I've spoken about peace. That one of the things that you monitor in life. The, the first thing we notice over here is this. The message of God, the birth of Christ, is to make men live their lives to with glory to God in the heaven, in heaven and on earth. The kind of message we live, the kind of speech, our enough to faith, conversations in life, our manner of life should be bringing glory to God in heaven and on earth. Hello? Hello? You live life in such a way purposefully to give glory to God. Is it that your human flesh will still not be manifesting? Jesus was our first example. And like I said, a savior. Jesus was the prototype of the life that God wants us to live. Does his flesh not come in? It came, but he overruled it. Jesus was hungry. Jesus was angry. Jesus wept. Displayed emotion. Emotions are the spices of life. They are not meant to rule our life. What are spices? Spices are not the, the main food. They are just ingredients, additives. They are just additives. Imagine you feeding only on Maggi or knock you. You take 10, 10, 10, 10 cubes of Norox or you take a lot of it and you start licking it as food. What happens to you? That is the way many live their lives, on emotions. I'm angry. He made, she made me angry. I won't forgive them. I won't, I won't forget. I may forgive, I will not forget. And you know the people that you would not forget or forgive are the closest to you. The devil has designed these things in such a way that people that are meant together to accomplish destiny with you, 
that are meant together, that you are destined together to accomplish great purpose, they are the ones that you will find most. Have you ever noticed it? The devil doesn't need to come into a team. That's another thing that we get from Jesus. He does, not, the devil does not need to come into a team and appear and fight you. He will just cause division. And once there is division, a house that is divided against itself. Hello? Please, when you go out 2021 and beyond, always remember, a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. Husband and wife, wife and children, mother and children, relatives, siblings. The message of Christ is love. Love that is above self. Love that we exemplify. You understand? You become like Jesus, the word alive, the word in action. Jesus is what God has told Mary. He became human flesh. Yes or no? The same thing with you. You are what God has promised this generation. Ah, and that is why the Bible recorded Jesus as the birth of a savior. Because many saviors I am looking at this morning. Many saviors we are looking at. We are to extend the work of Jesus. Not in a religious way. Not in a way that it's uh, hypocritical. Jesus was pure. Are we, are, are, are we together? You know, one of the things, the counterfeits that the devil has put in the, not in the church, because the church is, of, is full of genuine. Amen. One of the counterfeits that people do, that religion do, is that they'll be doing things hypocritically so that people can see me. People can know that I too, I am doing it. You understand? God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. What a man sows. And that is why I'm encouraging you. So good things in life. You, have, you can do it. It can become a normal life. So good things in your marriage. So good things in your children. So good things in your wife. And I'm telling my wife. So good things in your husband. <laughs> So good seeds in your friends. Make good things happen in your siblings' life. Make good things happen in your church members' life. We are meant to impact one another in life. No man is an island. And the life that we live 24-7 should be an extension of Christmas. As a matter of fact, Christmas is the beginning of great living. Mm -hmm. Christmas marks the beginning of great living. Let me just round up with this. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. We all know what Jesus brought. I don't need to be. But Jesus wants us. The aim of Jesus is to bring life, abundant life, in such a way that our own life will bring glory to God in the highest and on the earth. Peace. When you are traveling the journey of life, when you are traveling the journey of life, check your peace level. Check your peace level. When God speaks, God speaks in peace. Amen. The way God speaks is not like, oh, what's your name? My son. My son, my son. <laughs> Honestly, that's what, I, that's what I thought the way God would speak. Amen. Somewhere, somewhere. Even in that, I'll bring the point out. You'll see. They say, God will say, Joshua, Joshua, my son. Even our dramas portray that. It shows we don't know God. God does not speak like that. Honestly speaking, Old Testament, we have examples that may be like that, but God speaks in peace. God speaks in peace. In, that's why in quietness and confidence you be your strength. God speaks in peace. Just, when we are expecting God to speak to you over any situation, it's like when you are expecting a call from somebody and you are focusing on the fridge instead of the telephone. You are expecting a call, an important call. You actually made a request for that call that, please speak to me. Please speak to me. 
and now you are focusing on your fridge. You make your fridge is working perfectly. Instead of paying attention to your telephone that they will use. That is it. God speaks in peace. God speaks in peace. Now, when you see that Samuel, Samuel thing, God will always speak with you, even to you, through somebody that you are familiar with voice. Especially your pastor. Why? Because he's actually speaking in your spirit. Yeah. But your perception of it is that because you have made that person like God, to, that is the person that instructions flows to you. Some of you, you may be dreaming or you might be going. You just hear my voice saying, don't do that. Or maybe a statement that I've made here will just become quickened to you. Or that somebody that you respect especially our fathers. You just hear something that they have said. Yeah. It becomes quickened. It's actually the Holy Spirit. It's actually the Holy Spirit speaking at that particular point, but because it's being processed by our mind, we have to attach it to a person or not. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The message of Christ is to bring our lives to bring glory to God in the highest and on earth. Amen. Peace. Oh, I will round up with this. Good will towards men. Everybody say with me. Good, Good will towards men. Say it again. Good will towards men. Say it again. Good will towards men. God is no more an angry God. Mm. God is not in the business of killing you. Amen. God yeah. is no more in the business of retaliating mm. what you have done. God is no more in the business of compensating you with evil. He doesn't even have it anyway. God is no more in the business of compensating you with evil for the things that you have done. Brethren, we need to renew our mind to certain truths in life. The things that keep you down in life are the traditions of men and that is what Jesus came to break. That is what Jesus came to break. It's number one, fear not. Have you noticed how you'll be naturally afraid? Mm. You just in your, in your room, hey, you want to embark on a project and you're afraid it will not come to pass. Mm. You want to go into marriage, you're afraid that the man will not turn out right, the woman will not turn out right, father is afraid that their children will not turn out right. It's not normal. Mm. And that is where we should recognize the devil. Mm. The Bible says we are not. Everybody say we are not. We are not. Ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Traditionally, we think the devil will come with a, a fork, two horns, and what? Is it red shirt or black? Red, red, and, black. red, red and black. <laughs> All right. You see? <laughs> but no. No. How many people have seen the devil like that before? Okay, by the way, how many people have seen the devil before? I've seen him. I've seen him. You too have seen him. Mm -hmm. Wherever you see confusion, yes, sir. you are seeing the devil. Fear. Mm -hmm. Wherever yeah. you see fear, mm -hmm. you are seeing the devil. Wherever you and your wife or you and your husband, you are fighting, arguing over nothing. Because at the end of the day, you look at it and say, what are you fighting over? You're seeing the devil at work. Mm -hmm. How many people have seen God before? Mm -hmm. How many people have seen God? Why, why are you proud to see your God and not able to see? That's why right, I, I like that. that. Yeah. That's why I'm here today. That's why you are here today. Amen. <laughs> anything that promotes peace, yes, sir. anything that promotes joy, yes. anything that promotes togetherness, love, you are seeing the signature of God. Yeah. You are seeing the presence of God. That is where you see in some Holy Ghost meetings, the peace will be so much. Children will not cry, things will not happen, and the joy will be also elevated. Are you with me? Then you will see that you, you broke into laughter, you broke into spiritual manifestation. Then miracles begin to happen. Hallelujah. Miracles, signs, and wonders begin to happen. Brethren, we are meant to live for signs, to bring signs and wonders to people's life. Not only to your life, we are meant as conveyors, as pipes of the verities of heaven. The good things that are in heaven. And that is what Jesus came to do. Jesus, imagine the wealth of heaven. Heaven is so rich. Am I right? Yes, Gold is there. Everything, the, the floor is gold. 
peace is so much there, joy is so much there, what else is there? God is in hell, angels are there, what else is in heaven? A lot of good things. Riches are there. But it looks like it's in a sphere of its own, separate from this earth. Are you with me? The good news and the good will of God to all men is that Jesus formed a bridge Hallelujah. between that heaven and earth. Hallelujah. He became the connector. It's no more closed. Heaven is not closed over you. Amen. Heaven is open over your life Amen. by the birth of Jesus. Yes. Jesus became the canal. Mm. But the canal is, it can be limited. Jesus is unlimited. Mm. Heaven is open over us. Amen. Are you with me? That's the message of Christ. That's the beginning of the message that Jesus gave. The ultimate of it is that you become like him. Mm -hmm. And you are like him. Yeah. But you must understand, it's not the day that you plant a tree that it grows to start bringing fruits. Mm -hmm. It's not the day that you plant a tree that it becomes a mature robot tree. It keeps growing daily. Mm -hmm. Throughout your life, you'll be growing. Amen. Throughout your life, you'll be growing. Amen. You'll be fruitful. You'll be manifesting the glory of God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us go home. Make 2020 from now till 2021 and 2021 and beyond. Christmas happen every day to our lives. I preached something here some weeks ago. I said the word charity is the word that we use for love. Are you with me? We become ambassadors of love and ambassadors of charity. Where does charity begin? Everybody, where does charity begin? Where does charity begin? And from home, it goes outside. So charity begin between husband and wife, between father and children, between in a family, which is the smallest unit of social what? Unit. Social what? Structure. Are you with me? Let love capitalize our life. And once we see that, we begin to see the fullness of God on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus came. The birth of Jesus makes the bridge between heaven and earth. Open big. Why? That everybody might become partakers. We are no more to live our life like men. Mm. The way a man can live is the way Adam lived. Am I talking theology that is going to you? The way Adam lived in fear, in panic, in hiding under trees, mm -hmm. hiding under leaves. Do you notice that there are so many books now that are written about religion? You understand? And the best of them, like I said, the one you can turn to most to religion is the word of God, the Bible. You can talk about Quran is a leaf that people are hiding under. When you hide under the Bible like that, you are religious. Even trees, even trees. The best of them that you can see that people hide under is the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. This same Jesus that we're talking about. If you don't know him, have a personal encounter with him. Because the, the plan of God is not for man to be separate from him. Goodwill towards all men. Towards men. All men. The message of Christ is meant for all. Man and woman. Mankind. Goodwill towards all men. God wants to live in our lives, manifest himself towards our life, and we see that in the life of Jesus Christ. To the great extent we see it in the life of Paul, where he says that, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Message of Christ. God bless you, and Merry Christmas. Amen.